you give your heart, when you surrender to Jesus Christ, there's nothing greater than that. This is unbelievable. Praise God! Thank you, Jesus! I believe it's just as easy to be healed as it is to be saved. Jesus loves you just like you are. God's for real people. Today, a very special program. You often hear me talk about Catherine Kuhlman and the influence she had on my life. Today, I want to show you a portion of a meeting she had in Jerusalem in 1974. You can be so blessed. So call your friends and tell them a very special program today. In that same conference, David DuPlessis was there, Cody Tim Boom, Pat Robertson, and others. Before we go to Catherine, I want to show you this little clip with David DuPlessis, who taught forgiveness, known as Mr. Pentecost, touched millions of lives. And Cody Tim Boom, of course, you've heard of The Hiding Place, the great film, that's her story. And of course, Pat Robertson, whom we all know and love. He was much younger then. Watch this first and make sure to call and tell your friends about this very special program. In just a little bit, you'll see Catherine Kuhlman ministering in a mighty anointing. Watch this. Now I've told you the secret of my life. Forgive, forgive, forgive everybody. And when you do that, everything changes. Everything changes. He has taken away all desire to judge, to condemn, to hang labels on. Just forgive. Now, when God Almighty sent his son to die on the cross, you read in Isaiah that he did not give us a partial salvation. I believe in what is called a full gospel. Not a partial gospel, but a full gospel. I believe in a restoration of the total being of mankind. Body, soul, Hallelujah, spirit. yes. Everyone who is here also that one who has never believed in God. Also that one who is here because he must do some business and he, he helps us with the lights and so, but he does not know the Bible and God. He can be ready for Jesus coming. Great saints. How I loved Corey and David Duplessis, my dear, dear friend. And now I'm going to show you the same conference again with Catherine Kuhlman. Catherine, God used her in a mighty, mighty, mighty way. The anointing is still present on these tapes, these old beautiful services. But God moved through so powerfully, the anointing so mighty still as you see these tapes. So sit back and enjoy this. And I pray the same anointing that touched so many of us in those days touched my life will touch you today. Here's Catherine Kuhlman. And I think I could say, I shall not say, the very fact that I'm here, you know that I'm happy to be here. I'm here because I want to be here. 
I'd rather be where I am this very hour than any other place in the whole world you know. I'm in the perfect will of God, standing where I am this very hour. Dear Jesus, I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise. It costs much, but it's worth the cost. It costs everything. If you really want to know the price, if you really want to know the price, I'll tell you. It'll cost you everything. Catherine Kuhlman died a long time ago. I know the day, I know the hour, I can go to the spot where Catherine Coombs died. But you see, for me, it was easy because I had nothing. I had nothing. Stop down on it. I couldn't do that. You couldn't. No, I can't do that. Do it again. Do it again. You mean you couldn't? You mean you just can't believe it? Run, honey. Run over there. Go on. Go, go on, run over there. Run, 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 run. Come on, come on, come on. For how long, honey, for how long? Oh, two years. This is, are you from Germany? Yes. Did you expect this to happen when you came from Germany? Huh? You, did, you didn't know what to do. Do I talk too fast for you, right? Yeah, yeah. I can't understand her, and she can't understand me very well, but the Holy Spirit speaks a universal language. That's what's so wonderful. I know better than anyone else from whence I've come, from a little crossroads town in Missouri with a population of 1,200 people. I had nothing. I was born without talent. Most people are born with something. I didn't even have hair on my head when I was born, just red fuzz. One day, I just looked up and said, Wonderful Jesus, I have nothing. I have nothing to give you but my love. That's all that I can give you. And I love you with all my heart. And I give you my body as a living sacrifice. If you can take nothing and use it, then here's nothing. Take it. It isn't silver vessels that he's asking for. It isn't golden vessels that he needs. He just needs yielded. What is over here, Jimmy? Tell him. This man is from Turkey. He had an operation on this knee, which they removed the kneecap, and he was scheduled for another operation, and the Lord had marvelously healed his knee. Five years ago, he had this problem. And, and the kneecap has been the removed? The kneecap was removed. And he was scheduled for another operation. Bend it now, bend it. 
Is there no pain at all? No pain. And the kneecap has been removed. The man is from Turkey. One kneecap has been removed and he's scheduled for another operation. The Lord had just healed him. Whether he's put a new kneecap in there, I'm not sure. But bend it back. Is that, is that the, the, the knee where the kneecap has been removed? Kneel down on it. Kneel down on it right now. Give him a great shake. Get up, sir. Come on. Get up. Get up without any help whatsoever. Turn around and run over there. Go on. Turn around and run. Go on. Go on. Go on. Come on over here. Is there no pain there at all? Is there no discomfort there whatsoever? No discomfort. Bend them his all the way back. His it's what? His daughter and his wife. Did you believe this was going to happen to your daddy? No. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you didn't believe this could, this could happen to your daddy? How old are you? Fourteen years old. And, and the family is from Turkey, right? Did you think something might happen to your daddy? Yeah. Are you happy? Yeah. Turn around and tell the people how happy you are. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. You, you just can't talk. Dear Jesus, the power of the Holy Ghost just goes through her body. Let her go with the power of God goes through her body. The glory that's on this man. This man is getting something more, I'll tell you. He's getting something. Keep seated. That is the power of the Holy Ghost. I want to explain something to you very, very quickly before I enter into a little heart-to-heart -heart talk. I want you to know that I have seen literally thousands and thousands slain by the power of the Holy Spirit. And to this very hour, I do not understand the slain power of the Holy Ghost. One thing I do know, and that is that Catherine Pullman has nothing to do with the slain power of the Holy Spirit. Please believe me. There will be those who will plead and say, Oh, touch me, touch me. It is not my touch, it is his touch. Know that. That's one thing I can promise you. There's one thing that I know about the flame of the Holy Spirit. It is not in my touch. It is not Catherine Kuhlman. It's the supernatural power of the Holy Ghost. And the very thing that will happen in this great auditorium, in this building today, happened to Paul not very far from this building. <laughs> I give you praise to the power of the Holy Ghost to go through this body one day. Just a very short distance from this building one day. That's what happened to Paul on the road out here. That's exactly what happened to Paul on the road out here. Paul on the road to Damascus. Think of it, this is so wonderful. We give you honor, we give you praise, we give you glory. I know the power of the Holy Ghost is on this. Is there no pain there? Move it up and down. Move it up and down. And as Paul was going on the road to Damascus, something happened. Something glorious happened. Suddenly he was slain by the power of the Holy Ghost and he found himself prostrate on the ground. Some of you may have walked on the very same spot where the Holy Spirit did say Paul. And I believe in that a moment if any one of us would have come to him and would have said, What happened? Suddenly you found yourself prostrate on the ground what happened we think he would have gotten up and looked at us and would have said it was wonderful I don't understand what happened I don't know what happened but it was a glorious experience put, your, well, put, put it up now Swing that arm now, just as hard as you can. I can't, I can't, I feel it all 
Give her a great big God bless her. In the car wreck, I had a broken back and a broken neck and a broken leg. This, how, long, how long ago was this that? This was in 1968. And what has happened since? And since then, um, I've had extreme pain in my right arm and in my shoulder. And though my neck and my back and my leg got all right, this, all the ligaments were pulled loose from the back of my spine down into my arm. And I lost all the power in this arm to where I have only five pound pressures all the time and was in pain. If you see the dark circles under my eyes from not being able to sleep from pain. That whole time power. This is an hour of restoration. This is not a day of revival. He's restoring the fruits and the gifts again. The fruits of... Honey, you'll never be able to stand on your feet. But uh, when she pointed up in the balcony for me, <laughs> Jesus healed me in a moment. And, um, and now what? No pain. I'm completely healed. I'm, I'm that was two days ago. Two days ago, yes. Yeah. Still with no pain. No pain. Whatsoever. No pain. Praise the Lord. Somebody's ear was just open. I don't know wh where you are. I don't know where you are in the great auditorium. Hold your ear tightly closed. Hold your good ear tightly closed, and somebody can hear everything that I say. An ear has just been opened, and the person hears me perfectly wherever you are. Come on up and, 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 and tell me wh where you are. What is this over here? Tell, doctor. Go, go on. Tell this. This gentleman tells me that he's had a heart condition for over five years. And that before this, he couldn't walk up and down stairs. He's just been out in the back running up and down. And he's not <laughs> getting shorter breath. Are you amazed? Yes, tell the people. Where are you from? And, and for five years, you've had this heart condition. Yes, I couldn't run up and down the stairs. Uh, I couldn't walk up the stairs without getting out of breath. And when Catherine mentioned that there was a healing in the balcony of a heart condition, I felt strangely warmed. And I tried running up the stairs, and I didn't get out of breath. Praise <laughs> the Lord. Where do you go to church? Methodist church. Another Methodist. <laughs> Dear Jesus, the saints. Oh, with the pot, keep running, my brother, keep running. It'll be all right. That's a beautiful heart condition. What is this over here? Here is a minister from Australia. People, the Holy Spirit is moving so fast. The Holy Spirit is moving so fast in this place. I give you praise. The Praise Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. When Hallelujah. they get this emotional from Australia, you know it's the Holy Ghost. Yes. I give you a praise. Oh. Hallelujah. That's glory. <laughs> come here, come here. You tell what happened to your... Which ear open? The left ear. Many know me and they know that I can't, when they sit beside me on the left side, I couldn't hear them. But now I can. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hold this ear tightly closed. Do you hear me now? Yes. Do you hear me now? Yes. Do you hear me now? Yes. Do you still hear me? Yes. How great is our water. Then sings my soul. Lift. But then the In the last days, says God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. 
your old man should dream free. And upon my servants and handmaidens will I pour out of my spirit. And sitting in one of those meetings in 1973 in Pittsburgh, God touched my life through Catherine's ministry. I remember the moment when the power of God came on my life. I remember the very moment when the presence of the Holy Spirit became so real to me. And I pray today that God will touch you also. For remember, it's the same Holy Spirit. That's right. And He wants to use you. Blessed Jesus, I pray, touch your people today. Anoint your saints afresh. Use your precious people. For we surrender again, spirit, soul, and body to you. Glorify your name, I pray, through our lives. For your glorious name's sake, touch us afresh, each one of us. Amen. Remember, it's not by might. It's not by power. But by the Holy Ghost, the things happen. Wonderful partner and family, you have just seen one of the newly digitized, life-changing messages. Many messages like this are being digitized today from the 80s and the 90s, including crusades and this is your day programs and so much more. And we want to show you more and more of them to bless your life, to strengthen you in the Lord that your walk will be strong in these days where we need to hear the word of God. These messages and crusades were so anointed by the Lord and that anointing is still on them. And we wanna bring them to you. But I need your help. I need your help because to digitize these amazing sermons, teaching, crusades, and so much more costs a lot of money. You've given already some of that money, thank you from all my heart, I say, but we have digitized already hundreds of them, but there's hundreds more still need to be digitized. Would you consider today to help us bring you many more messages that will really bless not only this generation, but many generations to come. Our children, grandchildren will be, will be blessed by them because the Lord, I believe, will use that blessed word that was preached and taught back in the 80s and the 90s Let's do it for his glory today. So you can give right now on the platform you're watching me on, or you can simply go to our website, benin.org, or simply text. Whatever amount you give will help us keep doing what we began to do months ago, and we want to do more and more and more for the glory of our precious Jesus. And that is in addition to all that I do live. Because my aim and my one desire is to strengthen you, the body of Christ. So thank you again for being with us today and listening and share these amazing messages with your friends and those who follow you on social media. Much love and I'll see you again.